from the Gilmore. Let's give her a hand. I first of all just want to say that I'm so pleased with what I see when I look out there. Anytime there's change in this country, it's been led by young people. And I just thank you, black kids and white kids are out there today, and I just want to say thank you for being here. When you say say his name, there are many names. Yes. Trayvon Martin. Yes. Michael yes. Brown. Yes. Eric Gardner. Yes. Dr. T. Parker. Yes. Tanisha Anderson. Yes. Tamir Rice, a 12-year-old. Yes. Walter Scott. Yes. Freddie Gray. Yes. And here in Nashville, yes. Jacquees Clemens. Yes. And Daniel Hambre. Yes. And Sanya Bryan. Yes. There's Sherry yes. Moore. But four incidents that have happened in the last few weeks. Amar Aubrey, a young black man who was jogging in a neighborhood in Georgia, was killed. Brianna Taylor, a young black woman who was shot to death in her own home by police who was searching for someone else. Central Park when Amy Cooper, a white woman called the police claiming that she was threatened by Chris Cooper and that she and her dog was threatened and then captured on a video for the world to see a police officer, Officer Derek Chavin, kept his knee on George Floyd for nine minutes. Nine minutes. Mr. Floyd cried out, I can't breathe. Oh, my God. 
Yeah. You know, on Thursday, my brother Amir Abdullah called me and asked me to help him with a few things, and he asked me to speak. I was angry. I was mad. Yeah. There's a lot of things that I wanted to say. But as we talked this morning, Brother Abdullah refocused me. Brother Abdullah refocused me. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? He refocused me and he let me know that I had a role to play in what happens and what happens in the future. And my role as a legislator in Tennessee is to make sure that we develop and everybody I want y'all to hear me in the back with this because we always complain a black agenda here is the time for us to develop the black agenda we got people on this stage everyone from the state representatives the state senators the local electors, the mayor and we got the boots on the ground with the local group. if we all can't get together right now and make a commitment that we meet that we meet and we meet regularly to develop it and we can do it done. But I'm gonna tell you one thing right this: we can change, we cannot change hearts, we cannot change minds, but what we can do is change laws. One yeah. yeah. for the people in the back in case you didn't hear. We can't change hearts, we can't change minds. But what we can do is we can change laws. Yeah. One of the laws, I want to give you an example with the COB. We fought, the Davidson County delegation fought to have subpoena power, but it was taken away. But if you change the people in that room that grants this power, which is the legislators, guess what we have? We can change the laws. I can't hear you. So what I need you to do is make sure Make sure you register to vote. Yeah. You go vote. Yeah. And you fill out your senses. Yeah. Do you hear me? Yeah. I need you like you need me. We need each other. I have to focus, refocus my anger and channel it. I'm angry. I'm mad as hell. But I can't let it consume me. I got to focus. We have to strategize. We have never had a strategy. This is the time for everyone on this stage, everyone out there to reach out. You know us. You got our number. We need to meet. We need a black agenda now. Thank you for your time. And I appreciate everyone giving up a piece of their Saturday to be here because this is important. Stop killing us. We are not animals. We are not animals. We will live. We're going to bring up a young man, and I'm telling you, you better keep looking at this young man. Vanderbilt student with honor. He took on the issue of the Bedford Forest bus at the legislative plaza and and turned out the city. I have a lot of respect for him. I think he's going to do great things. Let's bring up the one and only Justin. Justin Jones. No justice. No racist. No I said no justice. No racist. No they say change comes about two ways. Either they see the light, or they feel the fire. The white power structure of America has not saw the light, and that's why America is on fire. And so we have to call out what we're fighting and name it as white supremacist violence. I had a lot of people ask me when I was coming here, they said, is it going to be a peaceful rally? I said, you need to ask Chief Anderson and the Metro National Police Department. Our community. Yeah. And so I have a question. We have politicians here today. Mayor, 
Are you still here? <laughs> Will you commit to demilitarize the police department and defund the police department? <laughs> Raise your hand if you support defunding the police department. I did not see the mayor raise his hand. Brothers and sisters, I gotta be real with you because we hear a lot about voting today and I think voting's important. But you don't just vote out your oppressor. You overthrow them. That's right. That's what those young people did down on Fifth Avenue. They sat in when politicians refused to change. And so it's not comfortable what I'm saying. But we cannot count on just politicians alone to save us. White supremacy is bipartisan. White supremacy is bipartisan, let's be honest. And so we need action. We don't want to just have people up here for PR. Chief Anderson, one of your officers still has not been prosecuted for killing Daniel Ambrick. Prosecute Andrew Dell. Prosecute Andrew Dell. In prison, Andrew Dell. I'm not here to, to sing Kumbaya. I mean, I'm not here crying about Target. I'm more concerned about the targets on our lives in that damn building. It's not illegal to be black. It's not illegal to be black. And so I end by saying this because I keep seeing the police officers driving around on motorcycles and the troopers keeping watch over us. I'll end by saying this you say you protect us. But who protects us from you? Yeah. You say that you protect us, but who protects us from you? You say that you protect us, but who protects us from you? Because just because you say it's illegal does not mean it's true. God bless you. to exist. I do not come to beg permission to breathe. I do not come to beg permission to be black in America. I do not come to beg your permission to live a free life that the God of the universe has commanded that I, with my life, have the right to have. No one has the right to tell black people how to express their pain. And I have to tell you, uh, I may say something that you may not like. 
because I'm talking to us as black people, but also everyone that's in the audience, which means, of course, white people as well. And as I say this, I want you to listen to what I say with the critical ear. Because this nation, this world that we live in, is suffering from a virus. I'm not talking about COVID-19. I'm talking about the virus of white supremacy. Unfortunately, as white people are in support, or those who are in support of our, of our cause, many of you are asymptomatic of this through your white privilege, which you can use to your advantage. Not by being silent, but by actually enforcing your people, because it's not us that needs to make this change. It's your people who need to make this change. And you are best in position to make that change. I stand as a student of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, representing a nation that has been discarded by this government, been discarded by those who are in the power structure of white supremacy, who have continuously cast us to the side like the projected stone and looked at us as something that is of a disgrace when we have been the voice that has been standing for our people regardless of whatever your faith is, the nation of Islam is here not to practice or try to preach over you some form of religion, but to get us to accept our own nature and to stand up for our existence. That we do not need permission for. The government has failed us. Politics has failed us. Education has failed us. Health care has failed us. Every system of this support white supremacy structure has failed us. So we said we need to throw the whole damn thing away. rebuilding it with the same principles is taking what was never there in the very beginning That's right. which is truth yes. which is freedom, justice, and equality yes. in 1962 as I close the Honorable Elijah Muhammad